Belford Chardonnay. Belford's a little sub-region, and this vineyard supplies us both Semillon and Chardonnay. The Semillon vineyard there is slightly bigger than the Chardonnay. Our, our Chardonnay vineyard is, is quite small. We don't take a lot of tons off it. Um, it's surrounded by shea oak trees, so it has that lovely protection from any uh, westerly wind and, and western exposure, so there's no sunburn on the fruit. The grapes that come in here is always in pristine condition. It's hand-picked, comes immediately to the winery. I actually use a, uh, a basket press setup for this Chardonnay. It doesn't go through a conventional press of uh, air bagging and tumbling like a washing machine. I actually put it into a crush directly into the basket press and it's a static press down. Now this static pressing means there's no tumbling of skin, so the juice that runs off these grapes is quite clear. Basically it gives me better chemistry compared to conventional pressing. The juice is cold settled overnight, not at very cold temperatures, moderate temperatures, say 18 degrees. And the next day it's racked and transferred into barrel. French oak and usually natural fermentation. After natural fermentation the wine stays on gross leaves uh, until further maturation, usually about six to eight months in French oak. Uh, and like our other Chardonnays, there's no male lactic in these wines. We try and keep the styles uh, fresh, uh, bright, fruit driven and maintaining that good natural acid. So typically uh, Belford Chardonnay, it's quite a grapefruit, whereas in the Chardonnays closer to home here, a little bit more melon like this is quite a, quite a, a vibrant grapefruit lift. Uh, the the flavour is quite bright, intense. Uh, long and um, really it's a, it's a fine and more delicate style I think than what we produce here closer to home which has got a little more so, so sun exposure. So it's a style that can uh, good for early drinking but easy cellaring for at least 10 plus years. Mm -hmm.